Okay, so we talked about where to find Signal, how to download it, and get it installed in the previous introduction. So we're going to be going through the course. I'm going to use Ableton. And uh, let's look at uh, bringing it into Ableton and kind of, you know, getting it open and ready for use. So we want to go to our plugins folder and browse through our plugins. We want to look for contact, drag it over to our MIDI channel, and contact player opens up for us. And then if you have contact already in different instruments and uh, it devices listed, you can just browse through your list, but I just have signal for now, so we're going to double click it and get it to open for us. Give us just a second here to get it to load up. It does have a lot of, uh, it's a big library, so some takes, um, you know, just a few seconds here to kind of get it going. Okay, so we've got it loaded. I'm going to go over here within contact on the header and just click the view button to eliminate this left panel here. So now we're strictly looking at signals pulse engine within contact. So when it first opens, this is the screen that it defaults to. It's got a so epic setting and you know, all the macros and everything, and the waves and loops and all that stuff down here. Everything that we'll obviously be getting into in more detail as we move through the through the lessons here and through the course. So, that's bringing it into Ableton, opening it within contact, and showing you how, you know, the default setting uh, looks when it first opens. So, let's go ahead and move on to the next lesson. And what we'll start to do is we'll just go through and start to break down different features here on the main screen before we dig any deeper and really get into anything kind of, you know, too in-depth. So, all right, let's move on to the next lesson.